Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in this video I will show you how to hide the HUD or the UI elements while a cinematic is playing. This will help make your cinematic look way cleaner. I want to give a shout out to MQ2142 for suggesting this idea for a tutorial and I want to thank Supreme for helping me out to understand how to do this. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first I will show you really quickly how I have everything set up. So I have this cinematic sequence device that plays this cinematic that I have right here. Let's take a look at it. It's this cinematic. And the cinematic plays when I step in any of these triggers right here. So I'm going to be leaving one to show you how it looks with the HUD on. And we're going to be setting this trigger up to be showing the cinematic without the HUD elements. In my case, what triggers the cinematic is this trigger platform, but this will work with whatever trigger you choose. So either entering a mutator zone, pressing a button, whatever you choose as a trigger, the result will be the same. Since I'm using a trigger platform, I'm going to be showing you how I do it. So the first thing we're going to be adding is we're going to be going here to Fortnite and we are going to be looking for the HUD controller. It's this one. We're going to drag it here. And the HUD controller device will allow us to choose what we want to show to the player. If we go here to the details panel, you can see all of the things that we can choose whether to show or not show. In our case, what we want to do is to hide all of the HUD while the cinematic is playing. So while having the HUD controller selected, I'm going to go here where it says show HUD and I'm going to choose no. Then we're going to go down here and where it says enabled during phase, I'm going to select none. This is because we want to choose when to activate this HUD controller. We want to activate it only when the cinematic is playing. Now that we have the HUD controller set up, what we want is to enable the HUD controller when we step on the trigger that triggers the cinematic and we want to disable it again when the cinematic stops. So here in the HUD controller functions where it says enable, we're going to be adding this trigger platform right here in my case, because this is a platform that I want to step on and to play the cinematic without the HUD, right? So let's choose this trigger and untriggered, the HUD controller will be enabled. So it will disable the HUD elements because that's what we established here. In show HUD, no. And we want to disable it again when the cinematic stops playing. So here on disable, we're going to be adding the cinematic sequence device and here we're going to choose on stopped. So when the cinematic stops, the HUD controller gets disabled and we get all the HUD elements that we want. If you already have another HUD controller, then what you need to do is disable that other one, enable this one that shows no HUD elements, and when the cinematic stops, change them again. So now we're going to save. And in this case, I'm going to be uploading a private version because I want to show you without the, you know, like edit mode kind of thing in the corner, just so you see how the cinematic looks without the HUD enabled. Okay, so we're in a private version right now. And as you can see, I have all the HUD elements, the default elements. So I'm going to be showing you how the cinematic looks with the HUD. So as you can see, it looks a little bit weird to have the health, the minimap, the loadout materials, all of those things kind of like get in the way of the cinematic. So now let's see the cinematic without the HUD. And as you can see, it looks way cooler, it looks way cleaner and you get the HUD elements back once the cinematic ends. So yeah, that was it. This was a very quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful for your cinematics in your games. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. I appreciate it a lot. If you want to leave a comment, I also appreciate that a lot as well. If you have any ideas for tutorials, something that you want to make in UEFN and you may not have found the tutorial yet and, and you think maybe I could do it, then please leave out 
ideas in the comments i will be definitely checking them out thank you guys for watching uh catch you guys in the next video bye bye